Hi guys, Frank here with Build Your Own and this is my 1994 Chevy Cheyenne C1500 with the 4.3 liter V6 engine and two wheel drive. In this video, we're gonna repair a leaking freeze plug that's located above the starter with this Dorman Quick Seal rubber expansion plug. Here's another one that I have. This one actually that's in my hand is a little bit too big. I just went and got this one. It's a little bit smaller, so we're gonna use this one today uh, to fix the leaking freeze plug. Normally, you would replace the old freeze plug with a new freeze plug and preferably one made of brass. But in my case, I wasn't able to get all the old freeze plug out of the engine block. So the Dorman Quicksil rubber expansion plug is my solution. Eventually, I'll put a 383 TBI stroker motor and racy transmission in the truck. But for now, this will have to do. Okay, so let's get under the truck and see what we're dealing with. Okay, so here I am up under the truck. Uh, I moved the starter out of the way. You can actually still see the, the cable that connects to the starter up there. And so the freeze plug is out, just the whole centerpiece. You know, if you've watched any videos on how to do this, you know, you start at an inside corner and, you know, it's supposed to get that thing to kind of rotate around so you can grab it. But that's not what happened to me. Basically, the whole inside of it kind of came out and the, the whole outside edge of it is still pressed into the, the engine block. So I can't actually fit a new freeze plug in there, even though I ordered some brand new freeze plugs that'll be here today, probably in a few hours. So I'm going to use that rubber expansion plug, and that should do the trick. The first one I bought was is a 41 millimeter, which would have fit fine if I was able to get the whole freeze plug out, but I'm not. I'm not able to get all the outside edge ring out, as you can see. So I bought another freeze plug. This one is 38 millimeter to 41 millimeter. So it should fit right in there. So let's go grab that freeze plug and see, or that uh, rubber freeze plug and see what's up. So we can see here, here's the whole inside edge of that old freeze plug. I was able to pull it all out and it all, the whole inside of it snapped out. So at least it's a perfect circle on the inside there. And I've got it all cleaned out. It was super nasty. I'll put a picture up to what that looked like originally. So now this is that freeze plug that would have fit if I was able to get this whole freeze plug out. Uh, this one would have fit in there, but it's a little too big. So I've got this one. It's a little bit smaller. Let's put it in there, see if it works. If it does, you put it in there and you basically just crank this screw down and that'll go ahead and expand it because I guess it squeezes these two things together and it expands this rubber out. So in theory, it should work. I heard that this doesn't last more than about maybe six months or a year, which is fine. It, it gives me a little more time with the truck and this engine and gives me time to save up so I can get that 383 stroker that I like. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the uh, rubber expansion plug part way into the freeze plug hole. It's actually it's still a tight, snug fit. So I've got to try to figure out how to tap that in there. So I've got a hammer and I don't really have a good shot of it because these transmission lines are here and all that. So I'm gonna have to probably fumble around with it, but I gotta get that to fit all the way snug up against the motor. So let me do that and then we'll check back in. Okay, so let's try this again. The third time's gonna be the charm. You can see here I got another rubber expansion freeze plug here because well, this 38 to 44 millimeter one did not fit because, and this 41 to 44 millimeter one, what I originally bought too big, also too big, this one here, is the 34 to 38 millimeter i'm going to go ahead and put up the doorman chart because i have they have all of them they have like 19 millimeter to like 61 millimeter or something so this one's the 34 to 38 millimeter this one should fit it's the next size down from this one so well now we should be good to go we'll go ahead and install this one into that uh, freeze plug hole and we'll go ahead and torque it down and then we should be able to put the starter back in and put some coolant in it and hopefully it won't leak. Okay, so success. Now we have the Dorman rubber expansion plug. It is in the engine block. It is nice and snug. So now all I'm gonna do is go ahead and torque it down and uh, fill up the engine with the coolant, put the starter back in and see what happens. Okay, so I've got the Dorman rubber expansion plug in. I actually didn't put the smallest one in. I ended up putting in that 38 to 41 millimeter. That other one was just seemingly just too small. It was just seems too small to me. So I put this bigger one in and 
I just got a couple of uh, extensions for my socket and use that so I could hammer this thing at a little better angle. And so we got that in there as snug as it can go. You can see it's tightened down a lot. So it's going to be what it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to leak, but there's only one way to find out. So I'm going to go ahead and put the starter back in and then we'll put some coolant in and see what happens. Okay, so the starter is hooked back up. I uh, have the battery hooked back up. Let's make sure the truck starts. There is still some coolant in the system, so I'm okay starting the truck for a second. Yep, okay, all that's good. So, now that the truck's all ready to be started back up, now we can go ahead and put all that coolant back in the system that we lost. Obviously, when you remove a freeze plug, whether it punctures or otherwise, you're gonna lose a lot of coolant, and that's what happened to me as soon as I punctured that uh, freeze plug. Okay, so all that's left to do is top up the uh, radiator with coolant, which I'm doing right now. I'll take the truck for a drive and then come back and top the fluid off some more, and I'll keep my eye and see if we actually see any leaking that goes on. We can actually see a wet spot there, but that spot's from before, before I plugged the hole up. Uh, so we'll keep our eye on it and hopefully this uh, rubber expansion plug does the trick. So that's it for this video today guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to put the playlist to this truck down below in the description. And uh, when we come back we'll be doing some other, uh, I've already got some more parts ordered for the truck. So I already have the next video that I'm going to do already lined up. So make sure you stay tuned. Thanks for watching.